Hey guys. All right, so I just wanted to kind of touch base with you guys today to let you see what we did with the gardens today. Uh, just give you a quick idea of why we did it, how we did it, why we did it. Um, we kind of, we put this uh, chicken wire around the fence, around the, uh, the bales uh, for a couple reasons. One is to keep the bales from falling over because as they tend to, uh, as they compost, they actually will shrink in size. You'll find that actually at the end of the growing season, they'll be about half the size of what they are right now, half as far as height. And they will also get loose a little bit and they may, they can sometimes fall over or lean. So we put this fencing around here with these stakes to uh, kind of keep them standing upright and so they can be used. They don't cause any problems. Also, too, this is, of course, chicken wire. You can see what it looks like here. It's, you can buy this anywhere, you know, Lowe's, Home Depot. As we've said before, you, a lot of this stuff is pretty easily gotten. doesn't take that much. Um, and what this also does is helps keep the woodchucks and other critters out uh, from your bales. We did this. We started, I think it was the second year that we did this. And I think the third year, too. Um, we had problems where the uh, woodchucks and stuff will get on top of the bales because they can climb them and if they get onto your bales where your lettuce is and stuff they will mow the lettuce and everything right down in one night plus they'll just they'll just destroy it uh you'll see it and as a matter of fact it can happen in, in within a, a couple hours they'll just destroy the whole thing but with this kind of wiring because you see here it's very flimsy it bends and turns and they don't like that so when they're climbing they like to have sure footing but if it's flimsy like that, they, they will not climb it. They'll stay away from it. So that works out really well. Um, and we pulled it all the way down to the bottom. I don't know if you can see that very well or not, but you can see here it's down this, all the way down to the bottom there. So it covers the entire bale from top to bottom. It's a, basically it's a three foot wide uh, row of fencing and the stakes are four foot. These are actually metal stakes with a plastic coating so they can be reused. Um, we bought them, I think it was at Home Depot, They're, they come in a pack of 10. Uh, we bought like 40 of them for this. So, it, uh, and like I said, they're, they're pretty inexpensive. They're reusable and same thing with the fence. You basically can take it apart at the end of the year and bring it inside and use it again next year. Um, pretty simple deal on how to do it. I mean, you know, it's, it doesn't take much to figure it out. You just kind of, that looks a little crooked there, doesn't it? But Melody came up with this idea. I was going to just put the stakes down, wrap the, the fence and put stakes down, and then tie the, the fence to the stakes. But she came up with the idea of weaving in and out of the holes, taking your stake and just weaving in and out of the holes all the way down through. And then when you get to the bottom, you pull on it real tight and drive it into the ground. And that way the bottom stays tight, the top gets floppy, and you're basically good to go. And now we're pretty much all pretty much set. The only thing we got to do now is I'm going to do some wood edging around the new parts here that need to be done around the uh, the fabric. Kind of tuck the fabric down inside so it has a nice clean finish to it. And then we're pretty much done. Uh, today she put some more fertilizer on it so it smells really good. And uh, tomorrow we'll just be straight watering it. Now this was the last day of the three cups per bale. So uh, I believe the next time she fertilizes, it's going to be a cup and a half. I could be wrong on that, but just, you know, it's, we're getting close to that point. So um, it's coming along pretty well, and uh, I think we're going to have a pretty good garden this year. So if you guys have any questions or anything, if you're watching it and you have any questions or comments, whatever, you know, just go ahead and let us know, and uh, we'll do our best to answer them. So... I guess that's it for now, and I'll talk to you guys later. What we're going to do, I'll probably do another one here when we set up, when we actually start planting and setting up the water uh, for the, you know, for the bales. We do an autumn, uh, basically a, a drip system. And basically just run the lines along the bales uh, at the top of the bale and then let the water just kind of drip on and off. We have an actual automatic timer that comes on every day and shuts off uh, automatically. So pretty much once we get the, uh, the plants in, there's not much else we really need to do except to maybe just kind of pull some, uh, some of the uh, rye or some of the, the, the rye seeds that sprout. We'll pull those out real easy and, uh, 
and then we just go ahead and pick the vegetables when uh, when it's time. So, all right, I'll talk to you guys later. Bye.